Hi, and welcome to The Gist. I hope you're having a good day. The recent solar eclipse has got me thinking about shared human experiences. As the skies took center stage, I found myself caught up in this celestial wonder, along with millions around the world. And maybe you did too. But only a lucky few at the right location with clear weather were able to witness it fully. As Emma Brox of The Guardian writes, it was an event that rewards a small number of people with an awe-inspiring experience and leaves everyone else staring at the clouds while murmuring, wow, and wondering when they can leave. But jokes aside, the next day, the internet was full of people who felt they missed the experience of a lifetime, feeling a genuine sense of loss. This feeling of FOMO, the fear of missing out, has become widespread. Whether it's about Taylor Swift concert tickets or the trendiest vacation spot, FOMO is on the rise. Even when people do get what they're chasing after, they're sometimes left feeling empty after the fact. Some teenagers are susceptible to a post Taylor Swift concert come down saying they're scared they'll never feel the same happiness again. Clearly, the race for the most social media worthy experiences seems to also be fueling deep disappointment. But this is where JOMO, the joy of missing out, can help. The issue of FOMO in the age of social media is hard enough for us adults but it's exponentially harder for young people in the midst of their peer pressure-filled formative years. At the root of it is our basic human tendency towards comparison, competition, and dare I say, jealousy. This, of course, long preceded the internet, with our biology driving us to maximize resources. These are natural emotions, which can, on the one hand, motivate us for the better, to challenge ourselves, to push beyond what we ever thought we were capable of. But if we give in to the dark side of these feelings, they can eat up our self-worth and distort our sense of happiness. It takes conscious effort to think critically about our choices, big and small, and to separate what we really want from what we should want. What's important to us from what's important to others. It's easy to think that if millions of people are doing something, maybe we're missing something, right? But the answers to such questions are incredibly subjective. It really comes down to priorities, interests, and trade-offs. So there's no right and wrong, no objective better or worse, no superior versus inferior. Because for everything we choose to do, there's an opportunity cost. An investment of time, energy, or money in one thing requires that we don't invest in something else. In a recent Brain Matters column in the Washington Post, neuroscientist and journalist Richard Sima explores ways to make choices that lead to contentment. He recommends taking breaks from internet scrolling and social media to find joy in our own lives and goals. He also suggests reminding ourselves that everybody everywhere is missing out on something. In fact, millions of people are still struggling to meet their basic needs, let alone worrying about whether they're collecting the best experiences in life. And no matter how many experiences we have, there will always be more waiting to be had. We will never see and do everything there is to do in a single lifetime. Besides, so much already happened before each of us arrived on this planet and will continue to happen long after we're gone. Cultivating JOMO, the joy of missing out, allows us to savor the experiences right in front of us. It allows us to feel good about our personal choices without wondering if we're somehow missing out on better options. So fear not the next time you think you've missed the event of the year. You can take comfort in the joy of living your own life as it unfolds. And if the tables are turned, if you're part of a much talked about event that others missed, maybe try resisting the urge to post about it. Sharing isn't always caring. 
Try savoring the experience just for yourself and create a little Jomo for others along the way. On that note, wishing you a great week ahead. Be well, and I look forward to seeing you next time on The Gist. Thank you.